side coming in. They don't like to don't like to lose. I guess. No, no, and yeah, uh, it was funny because uh, I got I got a earful a little bit from my mom. So, um, <laughs> you know, that's that's how I was raised, and um, you know, I appreciate you guys uh, understand. Is that primarily over saying uh, you were pissed. Yeah. That's what you like to lose. Yeah, in? probably. <laughs> what, what was the change of setting for you like here today? Practice. Uh, it was different, but uh, I think. It was good. It's good to get some sunshine. It's nice to uh, get some good weather, and I thought, uh, you know, we went out there and practiced well today. Is it positive that you guys, you know, spend a week on the road after you know losing a, a tough game, or do you prefer to go back? I think it's a positive. It, um, again, I think it just brings the team closer. Um, you know, when you have to go through a little bit of adversity, um, when you're you're not able to, to do what you want, and um, you know things don't really go your way. Um, you know, you got to look to each other, and I think this is what is happening on this trip, and I think it's what allowed us to come together. What are you guys doing that's different than any other given week? Well, just the setting's different. Um, you know, everything's kind of just a, a little different uh, in terms of, you know, treatments and uh, meetings and whatnot. So I think overall the schedule's just a little different, but, you know, change is good sometimes. You kind of mentioned it, but treatment's better to be out here instead of taking that plane flight all the way back home. You feel like you've been able to recover a bit better? Yeah, for sure. Um, and we've been very fortunate, I think, where we're at. Um, we've been provided with a lot, and uh, it's allowed us to uh, get ahead and, and recover uh, quickly. You guys have now seen this 49ers team on film. Is it fair to say that they're a lot better over the last few games, kind of like they picked up a little momentum? I would say so. They're, they're definitely playing um, you know, at a high level. They've won, I think, three of their last four. Um, you know, both sides of the ball, and even on special teams, they're finding ways to uh, win the game. And um, you know, we got a work cut out for us, but um, again, we just got to find ways to execute and, and be better. You played twice at that stadium or just once uh, at Oregon? Uh, I played there twice. Okay. How'd those games turn out? Uh, we ended up winning both of them. Uh, the second one was the, the championship game. What extent has an accumulation of injuries kind of impacted your game? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I, first of all, I don't even like talking about injuries. And secondly, it's. Everyone's playing. There's 53 guys in, in there that, that have to deal with some, and um, you know I'm just one of those guys. But on Monday, Mike said that the knee injury that you had earlier in the game certainly at least affected the play calling. How does that affect your game? I whatever happens happens. I just got to go out there and execute what the coaches want me to do. And um, it, it obviously there's certain things that you can't do um, when maybe somebody's banged up. Uh, but again, the, the coaches call the players. The players got to go out there next year. Did you have some bounce back in your step today? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, it's nice to get back on the field. Uh, you know, when you go through a little bit of uh, a, a tough game, it, it's nice to just get back on the field and, and go out there and, and play. And um, I, uh, I enjoy just being out there with the guys again. People like your level-headedness so much, your coaches and, and your teammates. Sunday, you were angry in a different way than we've seen. Is there something cathartic ab about that? And is it is it good once in a while to maybe let some of that out, even if you're using language your mom doesn't like? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Um, it's probably not a good thing to bottle it up all the time. Um, but at the same time, you know, I, I was I was pretty upset with the way that I performed. And um, you know, I think it just kind of carried over. What percentage of two-man routes do you, do you figure you guys were on? In terms of? You having two options on a, on a play? Uh, there's, I don't know. I wouldn't. I couldn't give you a percentage. Um, you know, I think most of our concepts there's there's more than two options. On those two man routes or, or three man routes, obviously you're being challenged by more people in coverage. Is the whole thing then you get the protection and you have time to, to find the hole and make the throw? Yeah, I think um, first and foremost, if you're able to protect yourself, you give yourself time uh, to hopefully exploit whatever the defense is trying to do. Um, doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's a two-man route, a three-man route, or a whole you know, progression type of deal. Um, you know, if you create time for yourself, I think you have an opportunity to uh, attack them. How, how much do guys, whether it's you or somebody else, uh, kind of remind people, I know you guys have discussed it over what happened on Sunday, but to remind you that this team's got three games to play, you still control your own destiny, still can do what you want to do. I mean, is that, does that even need to be said, or is it said this week? Well, I, I, Coach Markey talked about it, and uh, you know I think it is important. Uh, you know we understand the situation. We take it one game at a time. Um, 
you know, it's it's hard not to look at the big picture, but uh, all our focus is on right now is going out there on Sunday against the Niners and, and coming home with a win. How are you doing at moving people with your eyes as compared to last year when when uh, you got a lot of praise for doing doing well at moving safeties around? Uh, I'm still kind of playing within my game. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, that's kind of a, a different question, but yeah, I. I my game hasn't changed. Uh, you know, I still try to focus on uh, opening up windows and, and allowing our guys an opportunity to get into open space. How big an ingredient is that in helping open up, uh, open up windows and looking people off? Well, I think it's uh, it's an important part of any quarterback's game. Um, you know, week in and week out, you're going to face some sort of zone, um, and you got to be able to, to hopefully help your receivers out and, and create some space. Two more. I got to get him on. Our hamstring and ankle break. still bugging you? No, I'm good. You're going to approach the 49ers different than you approach the Cardinals? Because I came in the impression that Tennessee was going to fare very well against, you know, beat the, beat the Cardinals. That's the impression I had. Look, you know, if, if I was comparing both teams together, I think you guys would have cleaned their clock, but you didn't. So how do you think you're going to compare to a team that's also not doing that so well to the San Francisco 49ers? You're not writing them off, are you? Because they could come in and clean it up also. Do you not agree with that? Well, I think for us, we just take it one week at a time. Um, doesn't matter who we're playing. Uh, it's a faceless opponent. And uh, what we can do is we can learn from what happened the previous week and get better. And from there, hopefully improve and get a win on the next Sunday. Thank you on your day off. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Thank you, Mark. Your mom liked the way you handled that last one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I get one. Yeah. Stop and hold that buck. It, it, you're good. Are we good? Yeah. He's got a car. Yeah. How are we doing? Hey, good. Good. Thank you for accommodating us by yeah, waiting no, around. No, it's all good. Thank you. Um, uh, LaJuan did not practice today. Uh, just uh, just want to be precautionary. We think he'll go tomorrow. Uh, Cyprian came out, was getting ready to practice. Just had some spasms in his lip. Morgan was limited. So he, he did more than we expected. Marcus was a full go. Marcus was full go. Everybody else was full go. Now that you're out here, you know, what are your thoughts on how this is different from being back in Nashville? Is this a positive thing? No, I think it's I think it's good. Uh, I mean, the, obviously the weather is is helpful. Um, being on the grass, you know, I, I think there's a chance we we're going to have to go in and be on turf possibly in, in Nashville, and we're, I was just worried about that if we don't have to. And uh, obviously, saving that travel time this weekend will be a, a bonus. But I, I think it's been good. We've gotten a lot of work done. Um, our guys can spend some more time studying up on the opponent. Can they can spend some more time in the spa and and uh, you know using the hot tubs and the and everything available to them to recover. So it's been a good experience. How much is the team building and the buy-in that you guys have worked so hard to establish over the last two years? How much is now the time that you look to that to pay off? Oh, I think it's I think it's important, um, especially where we're sitting right now, the position we're sitting in. I think it's important that we have. Uh, we have a very close football team, and they know exactly where we're at at this time. Um, they know the situation we're in, the position we're in, and um, again, based on the way we get things done today, with the walkthrough today at the hotel, the practice we had, uh, it was it was very good. I mean, very good. Didn't that miss game, a beat. That game and, and and being isolated could be seen as lending itself to a hangover. You confident that that guys are past it on a Wednesday like they usually are? Oh, I, I would think so. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean we've we've lost a game before and come back and and uh, I'm not sure the last time we lost two in a row, but um, they've they've typically responded like I would expect them to. How good for Marcus to be a full go and he looked good uh, to you today? Uh, it was good to, to see him. You know, again, um, we we're gonna let him do as much as he wanted and he took his the normal amount of reps, so that was good to see. He opened that session with us by apologizing for saying he was pissed, which is something plenty of guys will say plenty of time. What's that tell you about him? Oh, that doesn't surprise me. Um, I wasn't sure what he said. I heard him. I heard the apology, but um, that doesn't surprise me. But you know, he's, he's just a competitive, very competitive man, and um, I guess he let his emotions get to him. You think it's, it's maybe good for? I mean, we've talked about yeah, how level-headed he is, but it was kind of cathartic. It's yeah, I don't think that's a. I don't think that's a bad thing. Um, I don't at all. I, I like that. He, I mean, I like that about a lot of our guys on our team. I mean, I can tell you, a couple years ago. It wasn't that way, and uh, it wasn't 
it wasn't a disappointing. It wasn't emotional after a loss. It is now. It's very disappointing. And, and there's a lot of, I mean, I think that's a good thing, the way this team's reacting. Did you put it behind, when he, when he practices those, you kind of put it behind him? He's not, he's not a moper, I don't imagine. No, I haven't seen him do that. Yeah. I have not seen him yeah. do that yet, no. No, on Monday you uh, addressed Marcus's knee injury early in, early in the game, affecting the way he played, the, the calls that you were able to, you know, to make. <clears throat> How about the accumulation of injuries he suffered from the end of last season, the hamstring injury earlier this year? Does that factor in? Has it limited his, his play at all this season? Uh, yeah, I mean, it has. Again, the times that he's had those injuries, it, it's limited to whether we've we've known and we've had a game plan or it's happened in games and we've had to adjust the game plan. It's something you've got to do for everybody. I mean, even when Lawan went out, we had, to, we had to do some things differently that we had planned and we couldn't do. So I just, that's just the way it works. I mean, that's every, that's any player. Your thoughts on the cumulative effect of that, though? Has that built up over time with him at all? Uh, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I think it's isolated. How was uh, Walden with increased reps on Sunday? I thought he played, um, he was effective from start to finish. I even asked him out here today, I mean, how do you feel today after all the reps on Sunday? And he said he felt great. Uh, I mean, I thought he played really well for us. I mean, it, that's, he played like he expects to come in there, and, and that's why we signed him. Mike, you've had a chance to look at the Niners on film. Uh, how much better did they look over the last four games than they did earlier this season? Uh, well, they look, they look better because I think they, they're gaining more confidence with the, the quarterback change. For sure, the last two games, you look at them, uh, the effectiveness of their offense is really trickling to the other phases. I mean, the defense is, is playing off of uh, their offense possessing the football um, it's, it's just especially with the quarterback change it, it's it's affected their team pretty pretty well thoughts on the effectiveness of Carlos Hyde both running the ball and as a threat out of the backfield oh he's a one-man wrecking crew if you let him be uh, I think they're very very good at how they go about trying to get him the football um, he's a he's a real very really good football player um, we got we got it obviously we know what they're gonna get the ball to him we got to do our best to stop him whichever way that is Delaney's been drawing a lot of coverage. I saw Corey working out here. He's the last guy to leave the field. Uh, the importance of one and one on ones for the guys on the outside this week. Always important. Always important. Uh, you know, we get a lot more man coverage than uh, these guys. Again, they play man. They play a lot of zone. They play a lot of one high. They, they're always going to have a guy down there to stop the run. Um, and we're going to get probably more man than we saw on tape. That's been the case throughout. Just challenging our guys that they've got to beat some one on one, and um, you know it's nice to see Corey Davis being the last guy out here working on routes. That, that says a lot about him. Some of the off day activities you had these guys do, and how does that help in terms of you know team building? Well, um, I'm not sure what they, you know, some guys. Um, I think they at Top Golf was offered to them. They've got um, an opportunity to go to a basketball game, a hockey game. Uh, we've got a movie planned for them. Um, a lot of them have done some different things that we didn't have to plan. They did it on their own. Good to have Stock. I know you didn't sign him, anticipating the Superdog in but how good to have extra depth there. That, him that was a blessing that that happened, uh, that Stocker was here with the injury to Supernaw because, again, there's another, when Supernaw goes out, your fullback plays are also gone out of your game plan. So uh, it's nice that we've got a guy that's got some experience and he's done it. He's done a good bit of it for Tampa, so that's a good thing. Probably more than Supernal has. Anything else? Thanks, Coach. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I've been trying to write something about your name. How often do you run the way? Can you ask a receiver?